from PRX. Friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the podcaster that hopes, I really hope I'm creating a good place to sleep, but actually I would go for like pretty decent place to sleep. You say, well, it's pretty not bad. Uh, the pretty not bad place, uh, the place pretty decent and okay. Better, I feel better than tepid about sleep with me. Slightly better than tepid, uh, and I'm not sure what, tur- not turgid, because I think that has something to do with water. Uh, so, and also when the podcaster starts talking soon, he doesn't even know what he's saying, because it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. So thanks for being here, and here's the ways, these sponsors are how I'm able to be here for you for free twice a week. Thanks. Hey, everybody, it's Scoots here. I'm trying to make these uh, patron pre-rolls as quick as I can. I know it's a tough time. We're all expected to be resilient, which is not easy or natural. We all need our sleep. And I don't know, it's not been easy for me, so I know it hasn't been easy for any of you or your families and stuff like that. We just passed a 1,000 episodes, and I still care about the mission of the podcast. Being here for free twice a week. I've been making this show since 2013, and I know a lot of listeners put a lot of work into supporting the work that goes into the podcast. So if you're in a position to do so, you want to be a rebel with the cause, please think about becoming a patron, especially if you listen to Sleep With Me a lot, multiple episodes a night, multiple episodes a week. And just think about all the value in Sleep With Me provides and compare it to other stuff that you pay for. Maybe there is a subscription you don't use for music or a streaming service, and you could cancel that and sign up and support Sleep with me, it would be a huge help. I invite you to just think about that. Think about, is there a service I use much less than sleep with me that I'm paying for every single month? This came from a lot of feedback from two months ago from patrons who said, I actually saved money because I canceled a streaming service I was paying 20 bucks for or 15 bucks for, and I supported sleep with me as an annual patron for less. And I listen to sleep with me every night. So I invite you to consider becoming a patron uh, if you're in a position to do so. If you become an annual patron, you can save money. Money. You probably could save money if you look at subscription services you're not using compared to how often you use Sleep With Me. And you could sign up to become a patron at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron. That's sleepwithmepodcast.com slash P-A-T-R-O-N. And there's nothing wrong with not being able to be a patron or not being in a position to do so. The show is still going to be coming out. Be here for you for free twice a week. I'll be still here putting in the work because I love it, because I care, and because I've been there. So thanks so much. Sleep With Me is brought to you by Progressive. Are you thinking more about how to tighten up your budget these days? Drivers who save by switching to Progressive save over $700 on average. And customers can qualify for an average of six discounts when they sign up. A little off your rate each month goes a long way. Get a quote today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National annual average insurance savings by new customers surveyed in 2020. Potential savings will vary. Discounts vary and are not available in all states and situations. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Helix, and I'm going to make it super easy for you. HelixSleep.com slash sleep. Anytime you think about, am I satisfied with my mattress? Take the quiz at HelixSleep.com slash sleep. When you wake up aching and tired of your mattress, first thing you could do, HelixSleep.com slash sleep. Take that two-minute sleep quiz. Not only will it match you with the right mattress, you get a great discount. I love my Helix Dusk, and the reason why I love it is because I took that quiz and I got matched with something that keeps me cool because I sleep hot, that keeps me comfortable because I sleep on my side and my stomach. It fits my needs. What about your needs, right? That's why they designed the Helix Quiz. Takes just two minutes to complete, matches your body type and sleep preferences for the perfect mattress for you. Because you don't want to buy a mattress made for someone else. With Helix, you're getting a mattress that's perfect for the way you sleep. And everybody's unique. They have several mattresses 
various models to choose from. Soft, medium, firm. Like I said, great for cooling you down. They have a Helix Plus mattress for plus size folks. I love seeing everybody's experiences in reviews. You share me your unboxing videos. But like I said, if you're looking for a mattress, it's time for a change. All you need to do is take the quiz, then you order the mattress you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your front door, shipped for free. Don't just take my word for it. Helix is awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Go to helixsleep.com slash sleep. Take that two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, so you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. And they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. And then you get a discount. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders, plus two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash sleep. That's helix, H-E-L-I-X sleep.com slash sleep for up to $200 off and two free pillows. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody, it's time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone, the one part of the podcast I pop my peas, if you please. I thank the listeners who supported the sponsors. I'm trying to do these as quick and as tight as possible because the Sleepy Supporter Zone works. We got over 300 episodes back in the feed now, and we're trying to get things tighter and tighter because of the listeners who support the sponsors. Right now, I'm looking for listeners who supported sponsors. Fill out the form at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sponsors. Share which sponsor you supported on social media. You let them know about it. Let me know about it. If you got some Brooklyn bedding, some Brooklyn and towels, if you got an air doctor, if you've been using your relief band, please let the sponsors know about it. Let me know about it. I'll thank you here on the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Thank you. It's also about you getting the support you need. There's links to resources in the show notes, organizations you could connect with right now, internationally. And it's about supporting the members of our community, saying Black Lives Matter, saying stop AAPI hate with our actions, being a part of positive change. There's links to organizations you can connect with and learn more in the show notes. And I'm also looking for people who supported Migrant Justice at uh, MigrantJustice.net or went there, learned more, supported the organization, or just, you know, found out some more information, uh, especially if you're up in the uh, New England area. Let me know, MigrantJustice.net. It's an organization I support. Uh, Mystery Bart, a lot of people help out on this show who are are they? Chris Posty Poster Song Sounds like an earful Wrote the theme song and Edits episodes too. Carl W. The Lecture Also edits episodes Kenny Scotty and Jennifer Runner, 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 runner Eric and the team Write us down Or on the website I am the mystery bar I do the lullabies, yeah I do commissions at JonathanMan.net I'll write a song for you Any reason at all You can tell me the story, yeah you see the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie and Jennifer These are your moderators Get support your Scooter on Patreon Buy the merch and support the sponsors You can find anything you want At sleepwithmepodcast.com And we're so proud Thanks, Mr. Bart. I'm going to show, slow, show it down, slow it down. Uh, join our referral program, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer, and I'll get on with the show. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, uh, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it's a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake, uh, whether it's thoughts, you know, things you're thinking about on your mind. So thoughts you're thinking about, feelings, anything emotionally coming up for you. Uh, so feelings, it, it could be about feelings or thoughts about the past, present, future, but they could just be there. Uh, thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, changes in time or temperature or routine. It could be a lot of other stuff. It could be work. It could be travel. 
I don't know, like whatever it is that's keeping you awake. And sometimes for me, last three nights in a row, it's been mystery stuff. I don't like, I, maybe I'll talk about it in a little bit of like uh, my experience for <laughs> three nights. Uh, not terrible, but not awesome. Uh, but whatever is keeping me awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. What I'm going to do, or what I propose to do, is to create a safe place. So, like I said, where you could set that aside, plenty of room, plenty of styles, plenty of selection, plenty of cubbies and soft, medium, and firm spots. We have them all, too. You say, no, I'm looking for something medium, soft, firm. Oh, boy, don't don't worry. We got it. Uh, medium, medium, soft. Oh, don't. I got, double, I got, I got plenty of those. What about firmer than soft, but softer than medium, but uh, medium between that? I say, don't worry, we got, we got, we got, a, we got dials, we got a, we got a scroll wheel, we got a few places in our safe place where you could use a scroll wheel, or a jog dial, or you know, or we have manual knobs, buttons, cranks. We got, we got a safe place you could crank. You say, well, there you go, I got it just right. Then you could get out of the safe place. You could go back. You see, I got to turn that crank. I got to dial it back a little bit, crank it down from uh, soft, hard, between medium, firm, hard, softer, down a little bit. And I say, don't worry. It, it, the, the, ours, our cranks, too, they go on X, Y, and Z axes. They say axes. When we created this safe place, we said we don't need any axes. And they said, actually, you do. Because that's how the, those are the ways we those are, those are those just part of dimensions. And I say, oh, okay, well, looks like we got a dimensional expert over here. But okay, I'm, I guess I was just being for sheep for, she, for sheepish. Uh, that's how I do it here. I'm for sheepish, not for sheepish. But whatever is keeping you awake, I'd like to keep you company. I'm going to send my voice across the deep dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go off topic. I'm going to get mixed up. I'm going to repeat myself. I'm going to talk for like 15 or 20 minutes even now just to introduce the podcast. Uh, just to be like, like, uh, uh, like, uh, to, to, uh, I don't know. I get mixed up there, but so. What am I going to do? I'm going to take it. Oh, I'm going to take forever. This podcast, a couple things to know if you're new. One, I get mixed up very easily, which is a good thing for this podcast. But if you're new or you're a regular listener, I just want you to know I'm so glad you're here. And I really hope this podcast can help you sleep tonight or get you the rest you need right now. Now, if you're new, it doesn't exactly work that way. Like for a lot of listeners, it takes a few tries, but maybe it helps you just relax a little bit more tonight or distracts you a little bit. And the reason I say it takes a few tries, one, I'm just my style, the structure of the show and the nature of the show is an acquired taste. Two, we've kind of been sold this idea that there's a one size fits all thing for sleep. And there's just not, uh, the different things work for different people at different stages in your, in your life. And that's okay. The most important thing is you're here, which means you've said to yourself, Hey, my sleep's important. And that's important to me. I'd like to really congratulate you on that because your sleep is important. You deserve a good night's sleep. And that's why I'm glad you're here. Because one, I've been there. Like I said, that's why I make the show. I, I've been there. I know how it feels. I've been there the past few nights or morning, whatever you call it. I think there was a song like about after midnight that like came out in the 80s. Maybe it was related to the show Miami Vice. They glorified it like uh and I'd say, well, yeah, w like not anymore. After midnight, I'm going to get, it's going to get on my nerves uh, when I wake up. Uh, but your sleep's important. I'm glad you're here. Now, if you're new, like I kind of hinted at, this podcast is just not for everybody, but give it a few tries. That's what most regular listeners say. This is a one podcast I think we could safely say hundreds of thousands of people have said, at first I didn't like it. Now, really, like, I listen to it every night. 
like or at first I didn't get it the second time I didn't like it and the third time I fell asleep but the other two times I also fell asleep but I you know I was thinking about it at first so uh oh so in a couple of what we say okay well I'm new I still don't understand anything you're saying okay I'll try to explain it a l- slightly better so two things that stick out to me that uh or can can throw new listeners off. One, you don't really listen to this podcast, and you can. And it, 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 a lot of people do listen when when they wake up or they need some company or they just can't fall asleep. But you don't. It's not really designed for close listening. Like sometimes people listen at first and they're listening very closely or they're waiting for it to get started and be like, "Yeah, we already did this party. It got it already got started." After it, this party, it could start after midnight or afternoon or any time of the day. So you just kind of listen to me a bit like music in the back. Like if your neighbor was playing music during the, like they're having a barbecue and it's not annoying and they're playing music and you're kind of listening barely or like someone in your family's doing yard work and listening to sports or music and you say, well, that's not bad. Uh, I'm just barely, I don't even know what they're listening. I'm just barely listening. That's this podcast. Kind of like background noise or a conversation where you're having a friend just tell you stuff and you're not really paying attention. That's the idealized relationship of this podcast. You're calling me. You say, Scoots, talk about nothing for an hour and 10 minutes. I say, no problem. Don't worry about listening to me. I won't even ask if you did. So this is a podcast you don't really listen to. It doesn't actually put you to sleep either. I just keep you company. I'm here to be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar sib, your boar friend, your friend in the deep dark night. Uh, That'll kind of barely keep you entertained. That's just here to keep you company, really, while you fall asleep. That's why the episodes are over an hour, so you don't have to think about, oh, what if I'm not asleep? Or if you can't sleep, you say, okay, I know Scoots is going to be here for the next hour and 10 minutes or so, and then I can queue up another episode. So those are two things that you need to know. Or, you know, if you're a regular listener, you say, Scoots, I heard you say it a million times. And I say, oh boy, have you. So those are two things. The other thing that throws people off, other than creaky dulcet tones and my personality, which is understandable, like I said, it's just, it's okay if it doesn't work for you. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you has lists of other sleep podcasts. But if it does work for you, that's, well, boy, that's great. Uh, and then I can keep you company whenever you need me. And, and some people it's situationally and some people it's different. Uh, what do they say? Like l- the flavors of your life or whatever. So, oh, structure throws a lot of listeners off. And it's a structure that's very intentional uh, for our goals around the show. So goal number one, that you feel welcome. So we say friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So you feel seen and welcome. Then there's support for the listeners that might need extra support right now. Then there's support for the community around the show. Then there's support for the podcast itself. Uh, so the podcast can be free versus only paid. Uh, then the, the, oh, then uh, the, those are all kind of mixed together, too, because then we go back to the listener support and stuff like that. So then there's the intro, which we're in right now. And I don't know, some people feel like the intro is part of the sponsors and the support. It, it's a show within a show. A lot of people use the intro to wind down or to get ready for bed. Some people skip it. Two to three percent of people skip it. I think probably two to three percent of people are already falling asleep. Awesome. A few other thousand people listen to story-only episodes or intro-only episodes, ironically enough, on uh, uh, Patreon. But for most people, it's like they're winding down, they're getting relaxed. Because for me, it takes a little while to get comfortable and to get some distance from my day and to relax. And you say, okay, I'm just going to listen to Scoots ramble on and on and on. So that's the intro. Then there's business between the intro and the story, which is, again, the last set of business. That way we keep the show free. And that's where a lot of companies like their business to be. Then there's a story, or tonight it'll be a recap of The Good Place. Uh, 
and or two episodes of Good Place, maybe. But you say, I've never seen that show. Or didn't you already do seasons one, three, and four of The Good Place? You're covering season two now? And I say, oh boy, am I. But it'll be in a very calming and meandering way. So that'll be The Good Place. We'll be talking about that. Then there's thank yous at the end. So let's just structure the show. That's why I make the show. I also make the show because I mean, like, because I've been there. Like, so I've had three nights of mystery problems. Like, so last night things went pretty good overall, except uh, they almost went too well because then I woke up early, but after 6 a.m. But I was hoping to make it till like five, uh, eight, uh, so I could get get a full eight hours or whatever. But I did I couldn't make it there. I said, okay, well. Let me just lie here. Like I've talked about, do a little laying. I didn't fall back asleep, but, you know, I daydreamed and stuff. And then I said, okay, it's time to get up now. That wasn't too bad because I still got a decent amount of sleep. Two nights ago, I was, like, wide awake for some reason. Had, like, some one of those, like, uh, hours between after midnight but not quite five or six. So, and I said, what in the heck? And that time I kind of hadn't been, that hadn't happened in a while where I was like wide awake. I don't know. And so I didn't actually go to my normal strategies. So that was kind of, you know, it would have been nice to, to turn on a pod. I should have turned on a sleep podcast, I guess. Uh, but then in the middle night, I, uh, I'm reading the, like when you listen, to this will be a long time in the future, but, uh, from when I'm recording this, but I'm reading the Sesame Street history, uh, the biography or the history of Sesame Street, which I guess is being made into a film. Maybe it's out. I don't know. Uh, but so I kept having these, but it's about the creation of Sesame Street and all the work. And so I kept having these like, uh, like S T R E S S uh, work dreams of Sesame Street, not really bad dreams, but just dreams where it's like, I don't know if I was like doing paperwork for for Bert and Ernie or, or something, but repetitive. I have those dreams sometimes, and those aren't exactly restful. And then I woke up. Uh, but at that time, I said, okay, let me get up. Let me see the WC. And then, uh, like, I was like, should I read? And I was like, well, let's just lie on our back for a while and then chill out. And then that, that actually ended up pretty much working. So I don't know. The podcast, I guess, is a shortcut for that. It's either here or I'm on call. And that is the experience for a lot of listeners is some people listen all night. The podcast is not exact. It's it's kind of hard to design a free podcast for all night listening. But people make it work. Uh, or you could be a patron or, or support the show and you get it. That, that's a little bit more conducive to all night listening. Uh, but a lot of people, they don't start the show until they wake up or they're stressed during the day they listen to the show. So it's adaptable, but in the end, it's about you. It's about you being important and your rest being important. And I hope I can be a part of that, even if it's only for a short period of time, or even if it's just to lead you to another sleep podcast, because if you get the rest you need, it's a better place and it's better than being, you know, I don't feel that bad today, but, you know, I could say, well, it'd be nice if I, like, uh, roll in the sleep dice tonight, I could get a decent night's sleep. Where I wake up, like, in a coffee. How come everybody wakes up in coffee commercials? Like, uh, I just thought of that, or maybe I've talked about it before, but it just popped in my head, and now it's on my nerves a little bit. Everybody in coffee commercials sleeps great, uh, which, uh, You notice that? Like, it's always, like, picturesque. There's, like, the crow. There's the window shade. There's the sun streaming in. And then they're stretching with a smile on their face. And I say, what in the heck? Uh, Why did I never notice that? Or people are, like, coming. The other coffee commercial I was thinking of is, like, people are coming home from college. And it's, like, uh, like, uh. That's like somehow related to coffee, but I could be mixing up my commercials. I watched so much TV as a child that uh, this is what we have. We have a sleep podcast to thank for it. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. However you got here, I'm glad you're here. I hope I can help you uh, take your mind off stuff so you can drift off. Uh, so give a few tries, see how it goes. I really work hard. I really earn and I strive to help you fall asleep. And here's the ways I'm able to do it for you free twice a week. 
Hey, everybody, it's Scoots here. It's time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Feather, making furniture so easy and convenient. I don't know if you've heard from any friends or family about trying to order furniture right now and the long wait times to get stuff delivered. I've been trying to get this one console for my TV. I can't even set up delivery because it has not been in stock. And who wants furniture six, eight months from now, right? It's like, uh, I want something to put my TV on right now. And that's why you got to check out Feather. I don't know if you do this, but people who live in cities move six to eight times before they hit their early 30s. Feather is a furniture rental company designed for people who want to feel at home no matter how often they move. You know, furnishing a one bedroom can cost upwards of $6,000, but with Feather, you could furnish a bedroom with high quality, beautifully designed furniture for the cost of your monthly utility bill. The delivery team brings the furniture directly to your home in as little as seven days, and they handle all the heavy lifting, so you can go from an empty apartment to a fully furnished home without lifting a finger or assembling anything. And it's not just furniture. They have rugs, lamps, wall arts, and even outdoor furniture. And then if you move to a new place with a different layout, Feather makes it so easy. You could just swap out the furniture that works for your new place. Plus, by renting from Feather, you're choosing a sustainable alternative to fast furniture that won't end up in landfills. And like I said, I tried to place an order for something and I can't even get it ordered, but I know even if I did, it would probably take three, four, five, six months to have it delivered, where Feather comes in as little as seven days. I don't know why I didn't do that first. I'm going to look for the TV console and then switch it up and say, okay, let me get some other stuff that matches this TV console, maybe a rug. So try a new way to furnish your home. Right now, Feather has an exclusive offer just for Sleep With Me listeners. If you go to livefeather.com and use the promo code SLEEP300, you'll receive $300 off your first month of their annual plan. That's Live livefeather.com l-i-v-e-f-e-a-t-h-e-r.com and you got to use that promo code sleep 300 for 300 dollars off thanks everybody hey everybody it's scoots and really this is like an accountability thing you know during the pandemic i did not make my regular uh, checkup appointments haven't got a physical um, you know i finally just got back into the dentist uh, a few months ago i finally got into the eye doctor but with everything opening back up uh, it is time for me to catch up on my regular health care and if you're in the same position i am zocdoc is amazing you just download the free zocdoc Doc app. It's the easiest way to find a great doctor and instantly book an appointment. With ZocDoc, you can search for local doctors who take your insurance, read verified patient reviews, book an appointment in person or video chat. You never have to wait on hold with a receptionist again. Whether you need a primary care physician, a dentist, a dermatologist, a psychiatrist, eye doctor, or another specialist, ZocDoc has you covered. And you just need to go to ZocDoc.com slash sleep and download that ZocDoc app app to sign up for free. Every month, millions of people use ZocDoc. I'm one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to look up and find a new doctor. Like I said, using that ZocDoc app, it made it so easy for me to find a local eye doctor. And anytime I'm thinking of another specialist, I just use that ZocDoc app and I search. I can read those verified patient reviews. I can see where they are and then I can book an appointment. It's so easy. But I also like just getting to know what patients think about the doctor and and reading more about them. So I use ZocDoc. You should too. ZocDoc makes healthcare easy. And now is the time to prioritize your health. Go to ZocDoc.com slash sleep and download the ZocDoc app to sign up for free and book a top rated doctor. Many are available as soon as today. And that's ZocDoc.com slash sleep. Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash sleep. Thanks everybody. All right, everybody, it's Scoots here, and we're, we're back in the good place. So who would have thought we'd be back in the good place out of order? But what, there's no better time to be in the good place than when things seem out of order. And what a treat to rewatch this episode three or four times. Each time I picked up on more and more jokes and little details. But it was also nice just to get back with the Soul Squad and see everybody. And really to buckle my seatbelt for Michael, since we've since I've always already seen all four seasons, rewatching season two and seeing where Michael's at at the beginning of the season, it just really, I say, I can't wait to see how this unfolds. But yes, yeah, so we watched season two, episode one, Everything is Great. I'm starting it up here. 
on my um thingamajig. It's not starting though, but uh it'll eventually start maybe. No, it doesn't want to work with me. So let's do this. We'll run through the notes. It's downloaded. Very interesting. Um let's see, it starts with last season, good place, soulmate, cheaty, hug, truth, and not supposed to be here. Tian, Tian, Tahani and Jianyu, Jason, real name. Eleanor tells the community, Sean, or something, bad place. Oh, bad, Sean says a bad place is owed two people. This is the bad place. A reversal? Reveal. Oh, that's the reveal. Yeah, basic. A uh, quick question mark. Uh, oh, something, Eleanor. You're you're in the big farm. Cool. Why don't you introduce your soulmate? The soulmate looks like a football player, or I think he was the sexy mailman. But he looks like a, why can't I ever remember the football player's name? Oh, I just remembered it and forgot it in the same span. It's a football player like a Green Bay Packers quarterback. And I think he was he. I think he went to Cal Berkeley and was Cal Berkeley's quarterback. And for some reason, in the history of liking this uh, football player, I still can't remember his name. So if you're from Green Green Bay and you got to stop, you know, give up on the podcast, I get it. Uh, um, let's see, Truth Block Workout, uh, Janet, not. Something cheaty. What the fork? I also drew a layout of Eleanor's apartment. I'm pretty sure it's the same because there's the uh, performing characters. Uh, the performing characters uh, the, that uh, get out of a tiny car together with giant shoes. So our front door is on the left. Then on one wall are three portraits with a bench, like a, a gallery bench. Then a right angle wall, two more portraits, and then a lucite box with like a deconstructed uh, small car performer. And then the uh, chapters 14 and 15. So the first episode's always a double episode. Or not always. I think Michael does some self talk. Sean comes up. And Michael's desk is very clear. There's three pawns on the left. Uh, a bowl of some sort, his desk set with the blotter and the pens and the notepad, and then a dragonfly on the left side of his desk for Eleanor. He talks about coffee and pods, new something, new salads, new so, some something. Trust me, boss. Uh, bitter sons, cockamamie. I don't think that's Bitter Buns, Biller Sons. It looks like Bitter Sons, Cockamamie. Oh, Billion Sons. Uh, town rehearsal meeting. Really nice, a deep purple pocket square. Plaid pastel bow tie on a white background or a cream background. Chuck, question mark. Real Eleanor versus Denise. Both have these something shrimp and frog recap. Both these things uh, tries to inspire them. Stupid elbows, bell, open, the good place. Uh, Eleanor has a note, Joey, Jamie, uh, Jazz, what we owe each other. GD equals soup question mark umbrella alley sign Nina and Bart or Borf I think it was Borf I think it's Bart Nina and Bart maybe phone book no phones Hawaiian pizza stand people are like nature's apps Nina bye bye runs into Jason no talk it gives her a gear Oh, it's Hawaii Five Dough is the Hawaiian restaurant, Hawaiian pizza restaurant. Michael and Eleanor, we know, but you, number one point getter, best person, Sash. 
Eleanor and I don't know what this says. Jessica, the host. Uh, Amy. Oh, yeah, that's Amy. Is uh, Amy, a our favorite uh, from uh, one of our favorite web shows. Uh, uh, no wine. Eleanor and people. Something's off. Um, no, no to bar. Forget it. Cheaty gives them to, oh, she, she hears Cheaty. She gives the shots to somebody, question mark. Hi. Cheaty's got a nice shirt on. We need to talk, and it goes to an ad. So let's uh, let's run it for a little while and see what we see here. Get the subtitles on. All right, last season on The Good Place, we see Eleanor's eyes open. She's got a plaid flannel on. Takes a deep breath, uh, GD's my soulmate, hug, stand by my side. Of course I will. I'm not supposed to be here. The so honey and Johnny are holding hands. She, she boops Eleanor. You booped me. And then they're in the bud hole. What's up, homie? Problem in the neighborhood is me. Sean. Bad place. Two people. Who's going? Uh, ho holy mo mother forking shirt balls. Uh, this is the bad place. Michael does his laugh. Except for you four, everybody works here. And Eleanor says, You saw us all on Earth, the selfish DJ, academic fraud. You thought we'd torture each other. The only thing you did was bring us together. That's it, my big mistake. Uh, is uh, having you be soulmates and live near each other. Eleanor's pretty pleased with herself, so then he goes, next time I'll do a slow burn. She, uh, she, he goes, okay, I got to ask my boss, so. So Eleanor writes a note to herself, uh, puts it in Janet's mouth, uh, you basic. Michael snaps, Eleanor's eyes open again. This is the new season, but it's uh, like done quick. I like how they did it too. I think it maybe it was from last season. I don't know. Guy takes off his shirt a lot, goes to the gym. See you soon. Janet gives you her note back. Fine, cheaty. What's a cheaty? Why can't I say fork? I can see a nice, some nice plants. We get a zoom out of her place. Chapters fourteen and fifteen. Michael. Okay, here we go. Michael, pull it together. Confidence. Sean comes up. Hey, hey. No, no chit-chat. Are you ready? Michael says, don't worry, boss. I got it under control. We got a dragonfly on my desk now. I mean, it's a statue. All the coffee's in little pods. Sean glares. Uh, They'll have new soulmates that work for us. I uh, thought of everything. Won't let you down. I think you will. Not in a billion suns are you going to succeed or something. You'll be retired. Oh, yeah, you know, live on a billion suns. Cockamamie experiment. Colossal failure. Totally do. And then there's a sequence of Michael doing a rehearsal. People have questions. Uh, we're not pairing them up because, I mean, this is like actually really good because these are regularly underworld workers. Uh, they're all outside of their comfort zone. And Michael's, you know, going for this experiment. Um, and then he makes a metaphor that uh, that dude does it, takes it the wrong way. Chuck. Then Vicky, she's character, she's character driven. You know, I was a real Eleanor. Now I got to be Denise. You know, who is she? What does she want? Why is she here? Is she quirky? Is she sultry? Uh, Michael says both those things. Uh, then Chuck kind of has a repeating joke, at least this episode. Michael says, just pay pay attention. We just got to get Eleanor drunk so we can do this chaos sequence from when she was drunk in her dreams. Um so she wakes up, you know, like with the flying shrimp and the frog and stuff. Remember that? She stole the shrimp and uh, we had him fly around. Some people laugh and raise their eyebrows. Uh, we want her to, you know, be worried about being found out. I know this isn't the kind of stuff we normally do. It's not how you're trained. 
And there'll be days when you're sick of each other, you know, sick of their elbows, being human, fed up. Uh, it needs you to dig deep here. Can't we just go back to HQ? He doesn't want them to give up. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. He goes, no, no. It's time for change. It's time to rearrange. You know, we're not going to flatten anything out. Uh, goes, this is a better way. That's why we're all here. We believe that. Uh, new way to make uh, put humans outside of their comfort zone. And he goes, all right, ready? One, two, three. Everybody cheers. Michael kicks his leg. Then the title card comes up, good place. Uh, then we see Eleanor find a cheaty. She tries to call Janet back, but she forgot Janet's name. Joey, Janine, Yaya, Jaja, Yaya. And she goes, well, I don't ever listen. Okay, and we can see her decorations. Who or what are you, cheaty? She says, uh, then she's walking through town square, umbrella alley. As she meets Nina and Bart, Bart, they try to get her to go to get pizza with them. Love it. You know, where are you from? Oh, well, I'm from Mozambique. Uh, anyway, what about a phone book? No phones. Uh, so probably no phone book. Okay. Um, and then she says, okay, well, she kicks her head back. A lot of great motion, a lot of kinetic motion. Somebody even had a Frisbee in their hand. Other people have drinks, flowers. Maybe we could get some pizza. A lot of great body language from Bart and Nina. Check you later, Nina and Bill or whatever. Bye. She goes into square. She runs into Jason. So this is kind of like everything is connected. And uh, oh, there's even pinwheels. I just saw those look really good. I don't think decorating with pinwheels would be a thing, but it could be. She Michael Michael shows up. What are you doing? Oh, just meeting people. Who's the uh, person in night nightgown? Jianyu, a uh, monk that never speaks uh, Taiwanese. Might be hard to get to know him. Eleanor, I know, you know, you're the best, you're the top. Could you, oh, he asked her to make a speech tonight, maybe just now or something, to inspire everybody. There's just a faint breeze, too. I don't know if that's, like, bland or it was just uh, inconvenient, uh, but it does add some extra motion to their hair, which I think looks good. Uh, Eleanor was a, supposedly uh, an environmental activist. Uh, Check the neighbor. Oh, uh, yeah. Could you say a few words? Then he's like, I got you a gift. He hands her like one of those long flower boxes. How could I say no? I don't think I can. I'd say no. She does say no, but Michael doesn't listen to her. That might be her first clue that something's not right. And then they're taking, oh, it looks like a recycled paper box. You got to be forking kidding me. Best person sash. She's with her soulmate again. Oh, I almost said his name. Aaron Rodgers, that's his name. He's like a young Aaron Rodgers, this 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 young man. And a little bit. I mean, not exactly. But, yeah, he's talking about how good he is. Then he says, I got to go to the gym, rips his shirt off. He's in, in amazing shape. Holy cow. Then Amy O shows up. Uh, El oh, Jessica, I mean. She says, uh, hey, you want, how about some wine there? I'm the host. This is my house. A uh, little liquid courage. Eleanor says, probably not a good idea. i got to make a speech. She goes, yeah, usually I do. But uh, uh, she tells, you know, she drops some great jokes. Uh, but right now, I can't do it. I don't know. Then Eleanor's uh, ta talking, uh, saying, hey, don't ask me questions about who I am or being an environmental activist. Uh, they say, you want any more drinks, Eleanor? Margarita? Nah. She goes, I'm good. No, I'm best. Uh, she walks off. Everyone's like, what's up with this? Uh, 
And how are we going to get her drunk? What are we going to do? Eleanor goes to the bar. She's contemplating. And then she says, okay, maybe I'll have a couple of tequila shots. Then she sees a giant shrimp. Michael's pleased as she pours four. She gets ready to go. But then someone says, hey, Cheaty, don't make this harder than it is. They walk off. Uh, Eleanor passes the shots to a mysterious person off screen. Says, hey, are you Cheaty? Yeah. Oh, so you're not a soup. I knew it. She says, listen up. I'm Eleanor Shellstrap. Uh, we got to talk. That's, that's the ad. Uh, all right, so it goes to an ad, and then we'll go back to my notes. Cheaty wakes up. Uh, he's called in, but the dragonfly on Michael's desk, uh, the statue, has moved. Uh, soulmates talk and walk. Uh, soulmate will be... Bodle? Elements of happiness shop. Uh, blankets shop? Uh, question mark? GD has this long, cool beans. He says, cool, long, and beans are really short. I really like that. Uh, trust me. You get a, one of many full cheaty moments, uh, which is that's one there. Pants tough to talk to like a scooter. Uh, oh, Pavita. Pavita is just like me. Uh-huh. No. This is what I'm like, unfortunately. I, I, like I say, what's Scooter like uh, socially? I'd say, what, well, cue up a Vita, because that's exactly what I'm like. I wish I had, uh, I remember being, even being somewhere at a professional event and someone saying, what do you like to do? Uh, and I said, nothing. Mm. Uh. And then they said, I got to go. And I said, yeah, don't worry, I've been there. Uh, Denise watches, very irritated. Michael shows up, uh, awkward, party, fun, fun, N nay, increases, uh, oh yeah, I think he says something like that, we'll see, cheaty gold, more cheaty gold, cheaty, limping, Denise, uh, Angelique, uh, looks, looks into meeting Eleanor, hi, what down low talk? Uh, sorry. Michael's speech time. Then we go to Tahani sequence. Tahani, good place. Uh, Tomas, a short uh, swell. House, red. Get rid of second floor. Self portrait of Camilla. 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 Uh, Comfort over style, dress down, pl plumber ass, uh, tonal, I don't know what this says, tonal recap, uh, cl oh, this is other things, clog, clog wench, uh, a toilet something, crocs have holes in them so you can feel the breeze, suboptimal, house and small, Cries, she cries on cargo pants, which is great. Or whimpers. Uh, system is never wrong. Private moon. No, no changes needed. Tahani goes to the bar. Eleanor gives her the shots. Uh, Glenn says we're cargo pant, cargo pant buddies. Uh, Crocs also speech time. Take it away, Eleanor. Tower of shrimp behind her. Uh, drunk to honey. Terrible placement angle. <laughs> Terrible placement and angle on her sash. Uh, this is her first time wearing it. Yeah. Get her off the stage. Uh, Jianyu. Uh, in a vow of silence, yurt in a garden. Oh, so this is a Jason sequence. Soulmate, his eyebrows go up on best bud, really good. Oh, uh, Luong, eating from bowl with no spoon. Rock drawings, uh, Bur beetle bard, birdie. Go get us some kites. Yeah, it says bike barn. Bike ride? I don't know. 
It takes off his thing, hands it to, it takes off a gear, hands it to Eleanor. Berkey, Dard, Biker, I don't know. Rides off by, but he's there back at the yurt eating. Then they either eating, then they go to the party. Janet shows up, yaks milk. Uh, Please sees Eleanor and shots uh, yank milk out. Uh, Tahani's speech, are you all right? Gianyu sneaks out. Uh, there's a shrimp in my cargo pants. What the fork? Then there's an ad. Then we come back. Michael and Sean do a recap. Uh, so cozy or something. Two yaks milk. Uh, no talk uh, to the bar. Thumbs up. Uh, Denise talks. Eleanor walking around. You don't keep a Ferrari in the garage, Denise says. Limp, uh, limp your heart out. Eleanor not drinking. Tahani. Shrimp down. Jason out. Cheating Eleanor out. I know that something. Bring something we know. We know each other. Oh, I know that book. Uh, a brag much? Uh, what we owe each other? Is something we owe each other? No, not 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 interested. Uh, Michael meeting. Uh, he meets with the team. You ding dong. Push back. All talk. No twisting. Right. No find hours. Chidi and Eleanor. Nice leather coat. Ah, uh-huh, almond milk. Uh, Figure it out, son, or something. Cobblestone streets, Jason and Janet, uh, hug. Yogurt, oh, fog, yogurt, boundless void. She repeats it back to him. Really good listening skill. I know something. Hug, okay, hug. Oh, I know somewhere. I said, where does she know where he can go? Michael shows up, nice uh, stripe, uh, something, his pocket square. Tahani shows up, apologies, something has been off. Uh, that's her soulmate? Janet brings in Jason. Homie, no. Eleanor breaks it all down. Jackie, Janet, uh, Michael does his uh, EVIL laugh. Impossible. And re- re- something, explanation. Next time, not going to work. This time, snaps uh, back to town square, big purple tie. No notes or clues. Everyone well-dressed. Did you tell Sean? Vicky's hand raised. It gets ignored. Michael sits down. With his uh, recorder, and then Sean FaceTimes in, and then Sean con on in. So let's see what actually happened. <laughs> All right, so we start with Cheaty. He wakes up. He's got a short sleeve to kind of uh, pinkish, corally shirt on. Really nice. Uh, can't wait to have breakfast with some philosophers. No philosophers here. Uh, philosophers, uh, didn't do so hot in the, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? And Chidi says, oh no, uh, Michael says, oh yeah, it's clever how they deal with them too. Uh, it's like one of those dreams where you show up at school without the clothes on, take a test in a class you haven't been to. And then, you know, not clever part after that. Uh, point is Chidi, you're better than all of them. Chidi smiles, uh, then he said, I can't believe the soulmates are real. My soulmate could be books. That's what I forgot. It's coming up here. I don't need a soulmate. My soulmate will be books. Elements of happiness store. Somebody else with a um, frisbee, I noticed. Uh, multiple soulmates. Uh, it's we got to figure it out. Normally, you just have one. Uh, you're matched up. Uh, this game, you, we got a kind of a four-way thing we got to figure out. Rare occurrence, like a double rainbow. 
or someone on the internet saying, you know what, you convinced me I'm wrong. So how do I choose? Uh, I don't choose. You choose, Chidi. Oh, no, that's Chidi's worst nightmare. Angelique, Pedro, and Pavita. So all, any of you can be matched. Uh, so why don't you go on a double date and, and then a single date, and we'll see what works out. Uh, that's when he says, cool beans. Uh, and he says, Michael, I can't make decisions. Uh, it's not my strong suit. Uh, and he goes, yeah, I remember the Make Your Own Sunday bar. And Chidi says, yeah, you can't have chocolate and fruit together, man. Chocolate palette or fruit palette? Kiwi Junior Mint Raisin? That's what you can end? No. Michael says, I can't choose for you. You got to choose yourself. Uh, make your decision. Trust me. I wouldn't do, you know, I wouldn't put you in an awkward place. Uh, so I don't know if that's another clue. And then Michael does something behind Chidi's back. They're having slices of Hawaiian. And then uh, Chidi and Angelique are talking. They have a great convo. They, they have definitely, like, what do you call it? Je ne sais pas, like, uh, what do you call that? Rapport. I mean, some of it's loaded. She says, oh, yeah, I was studying cultural relativism and moral absolutism uh, in Brisbane. Uh, and, and uh, Locke and Kant, and she goes, oh, I'd love to read your paper. It's a great pairing, and I want to read it so bad. So that's when we get us first, really, where it's shining. Uh, and then Angelique's like, Scoots, uh, hmm, Morocco? No. Ain't been anywhere else? Uh, not really. And then she just says, okay, who's, who likes who? Because I think I know who I'd like. Uh, and Angelique says, Chidi, I'd like to hear who you like, I uh, think, is your soulmate. So it's actually a brilliant small sequence because Chidi actually makes a decision. Denise is rolling her eyes in the background. But before he says it, of course, uh, uh, as he says it, my soulmate is Angelique. Michael shows up and says, actually, you're matched. Uh, it is Bavita and Chidi. It was some sort of time flux thing. So, sorry, uh, we got it all together, and it's definitive, 100% correct. Uh, and when you think about that, the three other performers are acting, act, act like acting within acting. I think it's a really good job because they kind of exchange some looks. Uh, though I do get the sense Angelique is she's either so good at acting as acting. Or she actually does feel bad, like kind of like Chidi, but that could just be the level of double acting. Uh, then that's when we're at the party. Chidi and Pavita are there, and uh, they run into Pedro and Angelique. Uh, oh, the fun continues. Nay, increases Pedro. Or uh, Chidi says, uh, and he says, "Oh, hey, Angelique, you look normal." Uh, Maybe I need a drink, a lot of drinks, so holy cow. And so he says, uh, excuse me, because I can't decide between red or, light, red or white wine. And Pavita says, you know in your heart which wine you want. Uh, he says, excuse me, I'll be back. Uh, he, does, he starts drinking something on the rocks. We see Denise. She says, hello. Uh, what are you limping for? Oh, I run the pizza shop. Crazy story. She tries to do her backstory. Then Angelique comes up. Uh, she says, hey, Chidi. How you doing? Well, this is awkward for sure. Stomach's in knots. Uh, you know, standard paradise. Uh, that's uncomfortable. Because I think Pedro knows that you think we're soulmates. Uh, I mean, she's talking around it. Uh, and he, but he, she just says, yeah, if I feel this way. And she goes, we can't talk about it. Uh, and he goes, but the numbers are so close. I think it is. Uh, and she goes, don't make it harder than it is, Cheedy. That's when Eleanor hears Cheedy. So the camera goes wide. We see Eleanor. She passes her shots. Uh, hey, is your name Cheedy? He says, she goes, yeah, you're not a soup, eh? And, uh, 
She says, uh, let, let's just talk. You know, Apple, hey, come on. I'm looking for you. She brings him into a room. He goes, yeah, I got a lot going on here. She goes, yeah, well, uh, I got this secret note here. Some robot lady gave it to me. Janet? Oh, yeah, that lady. Uh, and then Janet appears. She says, buzz off, Janet. Okay. This is my handwriting, but I don't. I haven't written this. Uh, that's your name, right? So for some reason I made this note and put it in her mouth. Why would I do that? Whoever her name is. You forgot her name? Yeah. No. Yeah. Her name's Janet. Uh, fork off. Uh, so things are weird here. Something's going on. Uh, people are trying to, you know, give me a drink and uh, my soulmate, it takes off. Uh, I got a gear from a Zen master. So the only person I trust is me. Something strange is going on. I told me to find you. So what's the deal? What's happening? And Chidi says, I don't know. I can't deal with this right now. I've got my own problems. And he runs off. Then they say, Eleanor, speech time. And she says, please, amulet from the wizard, uh, get me out of this speech. We go to commercial. We come back. Tahani opens her eyes, takes a breath through her nose. Michael calls her in. You're in the good place. Of course I am. Uh, so surprised. Uh, what, what are the chances? But I accept. Uh, here's Tomas. He's not as tall as she would like him to be, but he was a doctor from the International Rescue Alliance that she funded or secured funding for. He's also, he's in a t-shirt and a, uh, what is that, a fleece. Uh, she has a couple Freudian slips. He rolls with it, though, and just smiles along. He gulps a little bit, though. He's got hiking boots on and jeans. Uh, then we see kind of they got this nice little A-frame house, more of a bungalow. Tahani's like, this is so cozy. Uh feel like the walls are hugging me. Tomas says, this is absurd, Michael. Uh, this place is, uh, and then too big. Uh, no, no, yeah, it's too big. Uh, and she says, what? Uh, okay, we'll get rid of the second floor. Make it even cozier. And I'll see you at the party. And she goes, well, it certainly is quaint. She, she, it's, it's quaint for her. She bumps her head on the lamp. Uh, it's charming. Then she sees a self-portrait of her sister. And Tomas says, oh, she was a heroine at the hospital. We play her music all the time uh, for my patients. It was like she was helping through her music. Uh, she really is a heroine. Uh, and then they're going to get changed. He's like, I'm wearing what I'm wearing now to the party. Uh, no, no need to dress up. Uh, you know, comfort over style. And she goes, you should wear whatever you prefer. And she goes, well, we are soulmates. Uh, so maybe I should dress down. Then they show her, she's got cargo pants and jean jacket on. She's very uncomfortable. Now I used to be dressed like a plumber s uh, or a to toilet sweep. That was the other one. Toilet sweep. Uh, in any case, that's how I'm dressed. Uh, he goes, feel the breeze from your crocs on your feet. That's why they have holes in them. And then he he says, let me get us a drink. Uh, Michael comes over. Hi, having a great time. Uh, okay, well, if you need anything, you know, I could change anything you want at all. Because uh, she says, well, some things are suboptimal. He goes, well, you're the only one uh, that uh, has uh, problems. And she hasn't clicked yet uh, but with her soulmate, so she gets a little more down and down. He goes, yeah, it's common. It's just a, you're just adjusting to this new life. Uh, but you're matched with Tomas. The system is never wrong. This is a good place. Uh, if you want a bigger house, you know, you could ask for something. You know, even b bigger, big as a moon. Uh, 
No one else does, but you could. And she goes, this no, it's fine. I'm here in paradise. No changes needed. He goes, well, just ask. You know, no one else asks for anything. So everybody else is happy. But uh, you can make whatever request you wish. Nothing too frivolous, okay? And uh, she's down, makes a frowny face, goes to the bar. That's when Eleanor heads off after Chidi, passes the shots to, to Hani. And then Glenn shows up. So I guess she does the shots because Glenn's saying, cargo pants, buddies. Uh, yeah, this is so funny. There's so many jokes in there. So she does, yeah. She says, okay. Uh, then Mike says, speech time. And Eleanor says, please get me out of this speech. She goes out to make the speech, uh, stands in front of the shrimp tower. Everybody claps. Michael's pretty pleased, and she says, anyway, you know, starts off a speech, uh, dic- 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 dictionary defines, and then Tahani rolls up on stage, starts shouting, I'm t- Tahani, Tahani is me, not the number one point getter. She's really good, too, over the top, but in a good way. You all have your regular size pockets, uh, regular size soulmates, uh, and Michael says, can you get her off the stage? Uh, and she goes, we're all good people, right? Uh, we all did the right thing whenever we could. That's why, it's, you know, I'm in this house. I want this house. Uh, just kidding. No, I really do want this house. Uh, and Eleanor says, hey, come on, let's go. Out. Let's get some coffee. And then Tahani falls into the shrimp table. Tries to, Well, she tries to take the sash off after she says, uh, Terrible placement and angle. Is that your first sash? Eleanor's like, actually, it is. Uh, uh, bar goes down. Her table goes down. I got her off the stage. Go to a cut. This is Jason's sequence. His eyes open. He reads the sign. Jean, you come on in. And he goes, oh, you took a vow of silence. You want to remain silent? So he goes, uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, nods his head like that. Uh, sure. Then they go to his yurt. Everybody's got a soulmate. You actually have a best bud, though, which is unique. Uh, his eyebrows go up when he says best bud. A spiritual connection that transcends the physical realm. What? Uh, best bud? Well, cool, man. He smiles, even. So they go into the yurt. Uh, Luang's there. Another monk uh, from Nepal. And uh, you guys have identical souls orbiting one another in reflective harmony. No, you'll never be alone ever, uh, ever again. You'll be right next to each other forever. And at first, Jason says, okay, this is a little uncomfortable, but uh, and Michael says, I'm sure you have not a lot to talk. Well, anyway, goes out. Uh, and Jason eats, Luong kind of copies him. And I, I can't tell if they're having rice. Uh, then he makes up a, a comedy rock garden thing. He's pretty pleased. Uh, and uh, he's getting fed up. They go for a bike ride. He's getting more fed up. Um, and then he sends Luong off to get some kites for them to do some kite flying. That's when he makes his move on Luong's bike. Uh, hands a piece to Eleanor because he bumps into her. And he, he says, she says, are you cheaty? And he just hands her the, the thing. That's when Michael shows up. What are you doing? Uh, oh, that's Yanyu. She goes, oh, I'm just getting to know everybody. He takes off. Uh, but, of course, it doesn't make a difference like because... Uh, I don't know, superpowers or whatever they have there. He thinks he got away. He goes through like a bamboo grove, uh, but Luong's waiting for him. They go back to eating. Now Jason's a little bit more down. Then they're at the party. How about some drinks? Yeah, milk. Uh, but he also says, Janet can get you anything you want, just to ask. Uh, 
course, you don't need anything because you're perfectly content as monks. Uh, he says, enjoy. She hands them the milk. Uh, Jason frowns. Uh, sees Eleanor pouring some shots. Uh, makes a face. Takes, this is, you got to see it. You got to rewatch this episode. Then it's speech time again. Uh, we see, you know, the sequence with Tahani. Uh, and uh, Eleanor saying it got her off the stage. And Michael, oh, no, Tahani, how are you? Oh, never better. Top of my game. That's when Jason sneaks out of the party. Because Luong's distracted by the shrimp uh, in Tahani's pocket. I got a pocket full of shrimp tonight, you know. Remember that song from the 80s or the 90s? Uh, then we cut to Michael getting ready to talk to Sean. How's it going? Great. Uh, it's going perfect. Uh, everything's rolling. Won't let you down. Don't worry. Uh, then we go another recap of, uh, hey, can you do a speech with Michael and Eleanor? How can I say no? Oh, so then the walls are hugging me. Tahani says, can't believe it. Michael laughs. Uh, two yaks milk for the monks. We have the soulmates. Uh, we have the soulmates. So then uh, the soulmates give uh, uh, Michael a thumbs up. Uh, that's when Vicky wants to talk to Michael. You know, I used to be the real Eleanor, and now I'm Denise. Uh, this isn't a role. He says, Denise is a great role. She's got a great arc over the next 80 years. You have the best pizza place in the neighborhood and a cat. That's cool. I couldn't tell if Eleanor can listen in on this, but I don't think so. She's got a, I really like the print of her dress or gown, too. And again, Michael's listening to her. He's, they're both using really good body language. Watching this on mute is... Uh, and then I love the line, I'm a Ferrari. You don't keep a Ferrari in the garage. And he says, don't worry, you got something. Why don't you come up with some token thing? And she goes, okay, what about a limp? I'll have a story, something that makes me stand out. And he goes, fine, fine, okay. A mysterious past and a limp, but whatever it is, uh, limp your heart out. So that's when she runs into Cheedy. Hey, you're Cheedy. Why are you limping? Michael's very pleased. Uh, but they're like, we can't get Eleanor to drink. Uh, and he goes, wait a second, Eleanor's not drinking? He goes, she drank during her driver's test. Uh, all right, we had to keep things moving. I'll make her talk for an hour, and then that'll push her over the edge. Uh, then we have the Tahani, uh, her over-the-top sequence. So she goes down. I think this is when Chidi makes a beeline. Let's see. Eleanor's watching. Jason leaves. Uh, oh, J J T uh, Chidi says, hey, I want to talk to you. He goes, you know what? I know the book. Uh, she goes, are you trying to pay, pay a nerd pickup line? He goes, I know that book, uh, What We Owe Each Other. He goes, how's a professor of ethics and moral philosophy brag much? Uh, so he goes, we must know each other, even though we've never met before. And then she goes, it's not that I'm not not interested, uh, but let's get this figured out. Then Michael and the team have a thing. They go, okay, so everybody you can't find anybody. It's not going good. He takes his glasses off even. Says, come on, uh, what are we going to do? We can't build a chaos sequence. Uh, if she thinks she belongs here, you ding dong. And then he's kind of, they say, okay, we can't find Eleanor, can't find Cheedy, can't find Jason. How did you lose all the people? That's what you're supposed to do. And uh, Michael's getting really irritable. Eleanor's soulmate, you know, says he shows up from the gym. Why aren't you with Eleanor? I told her I was going to the gym. You keep saying that over and over again? You told me to. No, I didn't. Uh, he said, yes, yeah, she tries to confess you were supposed to avoid her. He goes, that was an example. So Michael's getting more and more, you know, chuffed, I would say. 
How many times did you tell her you're going to the gym? Five? No, nine times. Uh, so then, yeah, he goes, this is not what I signed up for. I liked my old job better than this. Uh, and it wasn't his quarterback. And then everybody starts agreeing, like, Michael's really messing this up. Uh, then he says, I'm going to the gym for real. And he goes, okay, everybody, let's just find the four humans. Now, he says, uh, so he's really good. Wow, he really is. So then we have Chidi and Eleanor at her place. Chidi's pacing. Are you trying to get a personal best on your Fitbit? He goes, this is like a tremendous amount of information. Uh, you're not supposed to be here. You and I met here. Somehow we met before. We would have been advanced lessons because... Uh, she goes, were you a good person? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I drank almond milk. So, of course, I'm going to be here in the bad place. Uh, or uh, not supposed to be in the good place. Uh, and she goes, well, we better figure it out. That's a commercial. This, then we have Jason meet up with uh, with Janet. Uh, he tells her he's not a silent monk. He's a DJ from Jacksonville. Named Jason, and I'm supposed. To, Michael tells me I'm supposed to be a monk. I'm supposed to have a best friend and uh, live in a yogurt. Uh, she goes, "You're oh yeah, you're for sure." Uh, he goes, "But he won't leave me alone." And I already have a best friend, actually, Pill Boy. And he goes, "Can I live with you?" She goes, "Oh, I live in a boundless void." Uh, so, yeah, Jason's talking about his uh, best friend, Bill Boy, and, uh, you know, that he doesn't want to go back to his yogurt or a yurt. And they can't, you know, can't go with Janet because she lives in a bo boundless void. But she does do, do this great piece of, uh, we, I guess that's reflective listening. She says, there's certain aspects of your existence here in the good place that are confusing. And you're searching for some place where you'll feel less lonely. And she goes, I know. And then he hugs her. She says, what's that? Uh, and he says, you're my friend. Uh, you help me. You're nice to me. And she says, okay. She gives him a very robotic hug back. And then we see the Scanlan. Chidi's reading the note. He says, this is, you know, intense stuff. So either you ripped the page out of a random book or we were working together for a long time. And then Michael comes in. Eleanor hides the notes. And he says, oh, so happy you two met. I'm just apologizing for all the commotion earlier. And they say, oh, yeah, totally, totally. First night in the afterlife could be tough. Don't worry about us, Michael. He says, okay. He says, Chidi, why don't you head home? It's late. Uh, and then Tahani comes in with the sash to apologize. I want to stop and give you your sash back. Give you your, Don't give me any sash back, please. Uh, but she says, yeah, I made a fool of myself, uh, stained my cargo pants, which are comfortable, praising off the rack separate. So no. And then Michael says, we better go. It's, it's late here. She goes, something is off. Uh, Chidi and Eleanor exchange a look. Her soulmate comes and Eleanor goes, okay, this is definitely suspect here. Uh, then Chidi's soulmate comes in. And then Michael's still again trying to maintain control. Let's get out of here. Then uh, Jason comes in with Janet. She says, Jason needs to talk to you privately. Oh, really? Okay, bye. Eleanor says, this, this is the wise monk. This could be the key to the mystery. Luan comes in, and Michael's totally lost control. Let's go back to the yurt, and Jason says, homie, no. He says, this guy's supposed to be my best friend. He's not my best friend. Is uh, from Jacksonville named Pillboy. And we used to have fun together, and this guy is not fun. <laughs> More jokes in there. Eleanor says, okay. Then Eleanor's uh, his soulmate comes in. She says, yeah, what are you? And he can't, he goes, takes his shirt off right away and says, got to get back to the gym. Then everybody's confused. And then Eleanor breaks it down. This is not the good place. 
Michael's forking with us. And, and Jason says, like a prank show? Oh, yeah, perfect analogy. It's a prank show we've been on before. I had a note. Uh, I put it in Jackie's mouth. Uh, no, Janet, which he says, correct. Uh, Michael does his laugh. Uh, I guess Eleanor Shellstrap, you got to be kidding me. Can't believe you pulled a trick on me. And I'm impressed with your thinking, but next time, uh, you know, because I was, re- I'm relieved because I didn't realize, uh, I couldn't figure out why everything went bad so quickly. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Next time. And she goes, Yeah, he's going to do it again. She tries to put it in her mouth. He goes, That's not going to work. Uh, Don, he says, This is unacceptable. I'll speak to your superior. And then some Michael snaps. Everything goes white. Then he says, third time's a charm for the team meeting. And he definitely is losing his people here. He goes, that's my, uh, uh, he goes, don't worry. No note this time. Couldn't have seen that coming. He's got a giant purple lavender bow tie. He checks to make sure Janet doesn't have any notes. Janet's in a little bit different outfit, a smarter, what is that, teal? A teal, teal, I, I don't know. And she, her hair's in a, um, I don't know, is that a bun? I don't know what haircuts are called. And then Amy O says, have you talked to uh, Sean? Michael goes, oh, totally. I checked in with Sean. He knows all about it. Very supportive. Uh, and then he says, any more questions? And he ignores Vicky, who's trying to ask a question. He goes, okay, let's get out there and do it. Then he starts recording himself, uh, testing one, two, three, Sean FaceTimes in and he goes, you're supposed to give me an update, Michael. Michael goes, oh boy, is it going good? Holy cow. Chaos is going totally great. Uh, better than the first time. Eleanor did exactly what we thought. Uh, even, even behaved worse than the first one. And he goes, everything's on track, smooth as silk, everything's great. Uh, they sing, sneak in a couple more jokes, uh, and uh, he goes, yeah, we're doing things old-fashioned way back here, but good luck with attempt number two, because there will be no attempt number three. And there's a pause on Michael, he thinks about it, then he calls Eleanor in for attempt number three. And the episode comes to a close. Uh, so good night, and we'll see you soon in the good place. All right, I want to thank everybody signed up for a referral program recently, and then uh, those people that are already sharing the show. So I think I want to thank Pam, who's got one referral, and then Autumn, Laura, and Rain, who are just getting started. Uh, Jill, Shashreet, and Jamie are just getting started. Uh, Dorota, Jesse, and Henrika, they're getting started. Justin's going to have five uh, uh, shares. Uh, Lucia, uh, James, and Karen, thanks, thanks, and good night. Amy, Alexis, uh, thanks, and good night. Leslie's got three shares going, thanks. And actually, they're not shares, they're actually new listeners. Uh, so thank you, uh, Muhammad, Miguel, and uh, Marie, thanks, thanks, and good night. Ashwin, Sarah and Courtney, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Catherine and Carrie, thanks, thanks, and good night. Kit's got a uh, first uh, share or new listener, thanks, and good night. Uh, Lisa and Amy, thanks, thanks. Uh, Anna has one share already. Nadra, Deirdre and Amy, thanks, thanks, and good night. Eleanor, Miranda, and Rebecca, just getting started too. Ava, Hazel, thanks, thanks, and good night. Alice W's got one share. Susie, Eula, and Mary Lou, thanks so much for sharing. Natasha's got a share, thank you. Uh, Eden, Allison, and Denise, thanks, thanks. Tanya's got nine, holy cow. Thanks, Tanya. Paige, uh, Georgie, getting started. Suzette's already got three. So thanks, everybody, for signing up for a referral program and referring listeners. It really, really does mean, mean so much to the show. Let me just check through here. Anybody else I can thank? I love thanking listeners, uh, really. Uh, let's see, Courtney, Helen, and Corey are all getting started. Uh, Stacy and Allison and Corinne are just getting started. Kelly's got two. Uh, Helen, 
Uh, Jade and Kay getting started. Deb and Janet getting started. Drawers got one. Cheryl's got one. Hallmark, uh, Julia and James getting started. Maureen, Maureen, Shannon and Rose and Myrna all getting started. Uh, Nora's got two. Paul and Cher and Margaret getting started. Chloe's got one. Una's getting started. Candy is getting started. Anna's got one. Rebecca, Nikki, and May getting started there. Uh, thanks, everybody. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for being part of our referral program and being a part of the show. Uh, oh, you can sign up at sleepingmepodcast.com slash refer. Thanks so much. And, uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, help you fall asleep. Thanks. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about tonight's sponsor, BetterHelp. You know, I've talked about my own journey with my own mental health, my own use of a licensed professional therapist, because I I guess I want to normalize it for you and say, yeah, it's not easy. 2020 and 2021 have not been easy. But I want to empower you to take steps to take care of yourself, whether you're feeling depressed, you're struggling with your relationships, you're having difficulty sleeping, meeting your goals. Tonight's sponsor, BetterHelp, offers online professional counselors who can listen and help. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. In that way, you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. And BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. And people close to me, people in my personal life have utilized the services of BetterHelp and they are really happy with it. And our podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and our listeners get 10% off their first month of online therapy at betterhelp.com slash sleep with me. Visit Better help.com slash sleep with me. That's better H E L P.com slash sleep with me and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced better help professional. Thanks everybody. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Air Doctor. And come on, what's one thing we do nonstop? It's breathe air. But think about not only your health, but the health of your family. My daughter is breathing air all the time, and I want her to breathe clean air, free of pollutants, free of smoke, free of allergens and germs. And you know what makes me sleep better all night long is breathing that fresh, clean air. And Air Doctor makes all that possible in especially where I live, uh, unfortunately, we do have the wildfire season starting up and I have an air doctor upstairs. I have an air doctor downstairs. But more than that, it's not about just me and my daughter. It's about you, the listeners. I hear from listeners over and over about the air doctor when they got the air doctor, how satisfied they are. So you got to check out the air doctor. Air doctor makes professional quality air purifiers that remove both particles and toxic gases. Air doctor uses medical grade ultra HEPA filters that have been independently tested to remove 99.99% of tested bacteria and viruses, plus virtually everything else, including pollen, dust, and smoke. And that's small microns, 0.003 microns in size. Air Doctor captures 100% of those. That's 100 times more effective than ordinary HEPA purifiers. The Air Doctor makes powerful purifiers to fit every room in your home, from bedrooms to home offices to open concepts and great rooms. Americans spend over 90% of our time indoors. And I don't know if you knew this, but according to the EPA, indoor air can be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air. Its whisper jet fans are 30% quieter than the fans found in ordinary air purifiers. And, you know, I'm just happy to, like I said, to have the air doctor in my home. I don't have to worry about the smoke outside. I don't have to worry about the pollution coming from the freeway or my allergies. An air doctor comes with a no questions asked 
fast 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't love it, just send it back for a refund. Just go to airdoctorpro.com and use the promo code SLEEP, and you'll receive up to $300 off. That's right, up to $300 off, but only if you go to A-I-R-D-O-C-T-O-R-P-R-O.com and use that promo code SLEEP. Airdoctorpro.com and use that promo code SLEEP. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody, Scoots here. Before I tuck in, I just want to let you know about our referral program. That's where you can get great rewards for free, just referring people to podcasts. And you can do that at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer, R-E-F-E-R. And uh, you just let people know about the podcast. Use this special link. Uh, you share it on social media or wherever you know you, you share online. And you could even earn ad-free episodes and, and the way to get into our, uh, what do you call that, our, our like little secret club that there's really no way to get into unless you hear an opportunity or you see an opportunity that I announce. And that's our wall of fame and our dream door society. And Cornelia is already well, well beyond that uh, in referrals. So it's very, very possible. And I haven't checked it in the last couple of weeks, but I'm sure a couple other people are up there getting close. But it all starts with that first referral. And you just let people know, hey, this is a podcast that uh, helps me fall asleep uh, that I enjoy listening to. That's at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer, R-E-F-E-R. Uh, thanks, everybody.